thanks for watching these stupid ass videos about cooking. Um, salute. This is uh, Irish coffee. So today I'm making a brandad. What's brandad? Well, it's a Basque uh, dish of um, salted cut potatoes, garlic, olive oil. What it is, it's imagine like garlicky mashed potatoes with that umami flavor from the salted cut. It's delicious. It's amazing when you serve it with like a crusty French bread or to see it by itself. Could be eat cold or hot. It's a great dish to have as a appetizer or just watch a movie and then just start dipping. Imagine like a onion dip, but of scale. All right. So follow me for the recipe, the technique, and how I'm gonna eat it. All right, guys. Later. So here we have the salted cut. This is how you get it in this country. It comes in a little wood box. And the box, it's kind of cute. You take it out, see? It's full of salt. So this needs to go in the water to remove all this saltiness, all right? So follow me for more recipes. Okay, so I'm gonna get my ingredients. Gonna get some milk. Then garlic, obviously. The black, sorry, the salted cut, I already have it uh, soaking in water. It's been soaking for almost 24 hours. And I changed the water three to four times in order to remove all that salt out of the fish. So I, uh, I forgot to show you that, but just just pretend it happens, okay? All right, so now the garlic. I put some olive oil. I'll add the garlic. I don't want to get color. I just want to like bring all those oils out of the garlic and make it very aromatic. So remember, no color. Now potatoes. You have to peel them. You see how I'm peeling against um, the wood? So then it's easier. So you peel them and we're gonna cut them in little pieces later. The salted cut, obviously after being soaked for so long, you're gonna cut it in cubes, just like this. Potatoes, big cubes. And you put them aside. Okay, so now I have my garlic going. I put the fish right away. You see, I'm just gonna cook it for a couple of seconds. Literally, one, two, three, four, five. And then we go with the milk. Enough milk to cover the fish plus the potatoes. Very, very important. Now it cooks, now it's boiling. Now bring it down to simmer. You don't wanna, you don't wanna overcook it. And it goes, then potatoes after 15, 20 minutes, they cook until they're nice and soft. Now. Strain it. This is a very important part. You gotta strain the shit out of it and make it dry. Then everything into the mixer, garlic, potatoes, but it's been sitting outside for like five, 10 minutes in order to make it super dry. Cool. So you start in the mixer at medium high speed. Make sure you are like scraping the sides. I add more fresh milk, then extra virgin olive oil, plus regular olive oil. This helps me a little bit. And then I'm gonna add, believe it or not, more salt because I pretty much wash it all off, so it needs it. So make sure you're tasting it as you go. See, now it looks so creamy. I'm gonna add more extra virgin olive oil. The good shit, by the way. This is the good shit because I want it to be like super flavorful. So definitely 
don't be shy on the amount of olive oil. This is a dip, okay? So don't get all scared. You know? Just fucking do it. Trust me, do it. And now we're done. It goes into a wannabe fancy plate. Just put it on anywhere. Put it anywhere. Uh, I put the brand that. Then I'm gonna drizzle some, again, fancy shed olive oil. Some of these green shed that we call parsley. You could put chives, by the way. Cilantro, this is the time I would not use cilantro. Olive oil, ready to dip my fat fingers into this. So this is the final product. Now you know how to make ooh, how to make brand that. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, try it at home. It lasts for a long time.